the Prophet said alayhi salatu wasalam, whoever wrongs a brother, he must make it clear today in dunya before the day of judgment. Because on the day of judgment, there is no dirham or dinar. There is no money. There is only good deeds and bad deeds. So this is the default. You transgressed against a Muslim brother, you have to seek his forgiveness. Sheikh Asim, Wallah, I've, and people may come to me. Sheikh Asim, I back bit you and I said horrible things about you. Please forgive me. <laughs> no, I'm not going to forgive you. Sheikh, Allah loves forgiveness. Said, yes, I'm not going to forgive you. Why? Because I don't want to. You speak ill about me. Why would I forgive you? Because then people would be encouraged and say, Oh, he forgives people. Yalla, let's go. No, I'm not going to forgive you. On the day of judgment, Allah wants to forgive you. I have no problem. I want dinaros. I want compensation. So you go to him and say, I did wrong. He doesn't forgive you. Or he asks money. The scholars say, even if he asks money, you have to compensate him. But here we have come to logic and wisdom. If I go to the brother and I said, Akhi, wallahi, I said something bad about you. Please forgive me. And he says, what did you say? I said, it's not, not of importance. No, no, you have to say it to me. I said, okay, I said that you're too short and too fat. Huh? You said this? And it causes more problem and a bigger fitna. In this case, no one says, go and ask him for forgiveness. No, refrain. So what should I do? I've committed a sin. Ask Allah to forgive him in your night prayer, in your dua, and repent sincerely and show remorse to Allah. On the day of judgment, Allah will compensate him. Because of your true repentance, Allah will give him good deeds from Allah's side, and he will forgive you. I hope this answers your question.